not a royal historian by any way, shape, or form. Mm. I don't think they pay inheritance tax because, again, it's not her money. I think okay. the money, the, the, the estates, and the, the the crowns, and yes, they live a life of luxury, obviously, but it, it, it's not hers. The money never belongs to her, and the estates never belong to her, and Buckingham Palace doesn't belong oh, okay. to her. It's it's I, there's a weird. There's going to be somebody somewhere that's going to explain it worlds better than I, but they're, <laughs> yeah. they're hers, but they're not hers, if that makes sense. I'm not yeah. quite, I think that might be what it is. I'm not, yeah, I'm not quite sure either. Um, there was a couple of other bits as well. Again, I'm not a royal historian and the colonization factor is a big one, but I also believe that she's the head of thousands of charities across the Commonwealth that actually aid people and i actually think she was part of the reason the british empire actually completely finished as a ruling as a ruling party she gave she gave democracy in a lot of commonwealth countries that didn't have it before i remember from the crown there was definitely one in the in the dominican republic that she gave gave it to and i believe she also did it in australia as well i could be wrong but yes you know as you say she's born into it and 500 years ago people weren't People weren't speaking out against Henry VIII chopping wives' heads off. So times change, things change. You know, the, the, things are all, or you know, things are never good. And she can't control what her children do either. Um, in this, she can't. It's diff- she again, as you say, she's born into it, and all of her decisions are scrutinised. The Prince Andrew thing, she couldn't get right or wrong, whatever way she looks at it. In a way. There's ways that I'm sure a lot of people would say she should have dealt with things, but there'll be reasons why she didn't that we'll never know. At the end of the day, they're also a family. Um, and a lot of people forgive a lot of things from people in their own families, let alone the fact that they're a royal family and in, and in the public eye. Um, the other thing I was going to pick up on, I've actually really liked enjoying watching all of the stuff that Charles has to go through. The proclamation I watched on Saturday morning where he where he announced the bank holiday for next Monday and things like that and get to sign the documents and um, travel to Parliament yesterday and, and gave them a speech and all that kind of stuff. It's just things that the vast majority of the population have never seen before because the Queen ruled for 70 years, right? But the vast, vast majority of people don't even know this exists. And it's only happened twice in the last 100 years, I think, with her father as well. It'd probably be somebody else before him because I believe his brother abdicated but yeah I I just think that there's entertainment is the wrong word but there's stuff to learn and stuff to take in as a result 